Hello there, um, my name is Lucy Donald. Um, I'm an artist working in Burryport. Um, I'm going to be showing you some techniques for generating ideas, um, exploring colour combinations, developing compositions, uh, and hopefully you'll have a lot of fun doing it like I do. So these are the type of um, paintings that we're going to be making. Um, if you look very carefully, I've put some details with a pencil on them as well. Um, and that makes them quite nice to, the, the sort of tiny details in them draw you in. They sort of do make you look a little bit closer at what's happening onto the, on the picture surface. Okay, so on my palette, which is an old piece of Perspex, uh, I've squeezed out some blue, red and yellow, uh, just because they're primary colours. I've got two sizes of big brush, I've got a water pot, I've got a sponge, I love using a sponge to paint with. Okay, so next I'm going to take another colour that I haven't used yet, um, a colour that goes with all the colours I've chosen. So I think green is a good option. I've got an old um, rolling pin here uh, that's used for cookery, um, but I'm going to use this to add a different sort of texture to the uh, to the pieces that I've worked on. So I'm going to roll some of this green paint on my roller and I'm going to start to apply it onto some of these card pieces Okay, so um, already you can see um, there might be, <coughs> excuse me, there might be some potential for uh, working onto these already. I can almost see that could be a tree. I can imagine a sort of garden 
landscape with a vista sort of thing that I could draw into there. Um, or similarly, this one I can imagine could be a sort of house, hedges, front gardens, driveways um, that could be kind of drawn into them. So you could take these at this stage and just start to imagine them as maybe an industrial landscape or um, whatever your interest is. They're just quite a good kind of starting point. Um, but I'm going to take these further now. Um, my next colour I've decided on, because red and green are complementary colours, I'm going to put a little bit of red on my palette. And I think I might add either a blue or a brown. I want to make it more of a rich sort of red, so I think I might add a bit of brown. Let's see what that looks like. It needs a bit more. <clears throat> and I might actually add a little bit of blue. Okay, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to add perhaps a little stripe with the colour, maybe just a little block. So for my next step, um, I'm going to go back to my my um, ro uh, rolling pin from the kitchen and um, obviously I don't use it in the kitchen anymore, um, it's specifically for artwork, um, but I've mixed, well I'm going to mix a black. Um, I really recommend that you don't just use a neat black, it's always a good idea to make it a resi black or a bluey black like this one, just so it's got a little bit of depth and um, so it's just kind of more interesting to look at. Now you could use it in a kind of marbly way like that. I think it might be a little bit too distracting on mine. So I'm just going to roll it out like that until it's a bit flatter. And then I'm going to start to conceal some of these areas. I do find that if you start to conceal and reveal areas, they what's left does kind of stand out a little bit more. So it's a guessing game really as to what's going to work the best. Um, don't worry if you completely obliterate it because you can just keep adding to it. And you can even sort of scratch back into them. Um, Okay, and so for my next colour, um, I've chosen I've chosen a cerulean blue. Um, <clears throat> I've mixed it with a little bit of white because I want the paint to be opaque rather than translucent. 
so I want it to cover up rather than um, show the colour underneath through. Uh, I've decided that I think I want this colour with uh, some of these pieces that have got more blue or purple in. Uh, and I'm just going to do a little kind of block of blue like that. I mean, one of my favourite artists is um, a Welsh artist called Roger Cecil and um, I really do love the way that he uses pink in his work because it's quite unexpected and um, I don't know, it all seems to work really well with um, greens or reds or um, you know these sort of layered up colours and because it's an opaque colour uh, it can often sort of yield a couple of surprises to work with. So I'm just going to put a little blob on there and I'm going to carry on with this idea of sort of printing from one painting onto the other. And it also leaves quite a nice um, texture. If you don't want the texture you can always sort of take that out a bit more. There's some nice stuff happening on there. So with these paintings now I've started to add splodges and blobs of um, colour. Um, I've used quite a watery pinky sort of colour which is a little bit darker than that um, thicker white, quite light pink uh, and I'm just letting things happen so it's just a matter of playing and adding, there's a little subtle touch of pit that sort of watery pink there that's really sort of helped this composition I think uh, at the moment and the same on this one just a kind of um, translucent pink kind of colour in in a wash sort of um, texture uh, it's starting to bring things together now a little bit I've continued with the layering now um, and um, I, I've added this bright green, opaque green to complement the pink and the red. Um, they're quite rich now with layers of colour and texture. Um, the ones that I feel don't work so well are these ones on the bottom and uh, what I'm going to do next with these is I'm going to start to add some detail with um, a pencil and some oil pastels. So what I'm beginning to do here now is um, I've selected colours from my box of oil pastels that connect strongly with um, the colours in the, the pieces that I'm just going to finish off with some detail. Uh, and I'm just going to start adding bits and pieces, sort of looking into the abstract image and sort of deciding whether I want to repeat some of the textures I can see elsewhere uh, in the composition. These lines here are quite nice, I'll probably put some horizontal lines somewhere um, in the composition up here just to sort of create a bit of balance and repetition. And um, 
yeah, just keep carry on building it up. So here are my finished compositions. Uh, I might come back to them at some point and add a bit more detail into them. Uh, but I hope you have a lot of fun with um, playing with colour and layers. Um, I think really the ones that work best are the ones where I've kept colours to a limit. So even those two greens are different. It's just greens and reds um, and black as well seems to work as well. Um, anyway, I hope you have a lot of fun and I look forward to seeing some of your work.